Me too. Same thing. You know, I'm not safe yet. It's still trying to get me. That cartoon last night. Right. Was, and I just sent it to to Trish. Did you see the? Did you see it? I have not seen it. No. Okay. What? What? What is? Are we just like a few of us running a gauntlet, or being tested by the Almighty God, and everybody else is just like on the Truman Show? That actors. Or they're just sock puppets. They're just marionettes. Uh, they're and, very highly sophisticated biological androids, and they get hacked. They have no soul. I don't know if they always never had a soul, I, but they seem to not care. They seem to just say, I'm going to live my life, have kids, and die. It's like my girlfriend told me that. It doesn't matter to her. The eternity doesn't matter to these people. They want what's for now, and they could care less about if they die or not. There's nothing about them to them. So it's in, what does that tell you? If they can get taken over with something that we can't see and just start, you know, traffic starts pulling against you, car after car starts pulling out. I had this happen to me one time, Seth, uh, for the past two years, okay, because I've been going through hell for the past two years since I got fired from that job, since that whole thing. I went to Long Beach. I got off on Pacific Coast Highway. And a lot of people know this story already that's heard me, but I tell it. I was on my motorcycle and the light was um, red, and the light turned green, and nobody moved. And it was a standstill, stuck position for about 30 to 40 seconds, incredibly long. Wow, right? that's a long time. Um, I got off my I Yes, very long. That's what made it so significant. I got off my motorcycle, put it on a kickstand. I'm in the middle of the highway. I'm crossing uh, Pacific Coast Highway and Long Beach Boulevard. And they... Nobody moved, and I just was looking around, like, again, like, what the hell is going on? Nobody's even moving. And the light is green. I was like, can they not see that it's green or something? What's happening? So after 30, 40 seconds, I get back on the motors. I kick the kickstand up. The light's changing back to yellow. It's getting ready to turn back to red. I said, you know, screw it. I'm going to go. Cause I, I, I thought, you know, I was at the front of the line. Nobody's moved. So I go on the motorcycle, first gear, I'm going 10 miles an hour. All of a sudden, everybody starts going 10 miles an hour, but they're behind me, like creeping behind me. I got a crowd of cars going 10 miles an hour, and then at instant second, they all just, everybody's at 30 passing me now. But for that second across the intersection, everybody was creeping behind me, doing 10 miles an hour, and then in a, something just clicked, and then everybody, boom, everybody sped up back to 30 and everything was normal. And I don't know what that is. That's God's trying to get my attention. I don't know what happened there. I wasn't too uh, knowledgeable about the Mandela effect. When that happened, I was probably two to three months into this. And, but it was supernatural. There is a supernatural element. And you think that you, maybe you had died because shit became so bizarre. And if you died, maybe the whole world's died. Maybe we've entered in some sort of dead world. It's totally a thing. Right. Like Super the entire natural, the, yeah, zone of cars just stopped. The entire, and all of them were under remote control. Yeah. 15 or 20 cars stopped, stand still, no honking, 30 seconds, green light on Long Beach Boulevard, busy highway. I'm off the bike looking at them. They're not looking at me. They're looking straight ahead like machines. Right. And they won't even, like, no no honks, nothing. It's just pure silence. And I just get back on the bike, and then I start going, and then everybody starts going, creeping behind me, going, kid. And I'm looking back on the motorcycle, and I'm looking back at them, and I'm like, what the hell? They're just, like, following behind me. And then all of a sudden, boom, back into normal mode. Everybody speeds past me, goes 30, 35 miles an hour. They're gone. 20-something cars. That's not possible. So did that... Sp- They're acting in relation to me. Did that frighten you? That's, that, yeah, that scared me. That was just like the instance with the uh, the Bible changing for me, the physical item changing, uh, the uh, the moon, the girlfriend thing, the spraying with the mace. All those things are like supernatural things that are just like... Supernatural shit is going to happen. It makes no sense. If you, you know about that, then you've achieved that level. You have Mandela effects where... Things that you know for a fact were, now they're not. They've changed. Some things totally vanished from the reality completely. They're no longer there. 
you know, wake up. What's going on here? Did you die? No, you didn't because this had been going on for a long time. Go back into your past and think about this, Rigo. And I go back into my past. And I'm like, yes. Eighth grade, Mr. Martin, the Baron Steenburgs, he corrected me and said Baron Stein. I thought he was a dumb redneck, and he, but he was right. But I, I never checked up on it. I just thought he wasn't saying it right. It was Baron Steen. He said that. That was in uh, 2007. Over ten something years ago, he I said. He said, said Baron no. Baron Stein. He corrected me. I said Baron Stein bears. It was a conversation that just came up, and he emphasized and yelled it out at me Stain. at the auto shop. Auto shop teacher Baron Stein. Stein is what he said. Baron Stein, son. Yes. Jeez. Baron Stein, and and so when I was going back into the past to figure out if I had. Somehow died. There is no, had, there's no uh, name. The uh, Berenstein. There's Berenstein, Berenstein, a German yeah. German derivation. But there is no Berenstein. Yeah. There is no such name. Yeah, because it's not. It's not a Jew. A Jewish name is Steen. Mr. Gottstein, my Jewish teacher. Uh, yeah. Steen. Steen. A stain. Right. Bear and stain is two things. It's a bear and it's a stain. Uh, it could be an animal. It could be bear or it could be bear and lamb. And there's a scripture on the wall, and it was the one about not, you know, not denying fellowship with people, you know, the, well, the one they use to get you to go to church. You know, have, you know which one I mean? Trish, you know uh-huh. what, what scripture that yeah. is? Okay, it's a Paul scripture. I, anyway, so, so I mm-hmm. see, I'd say, I said to her, I said, you know, uh, her name is Suzanne. I said, Suzanne, I have no problem with church. Church has a problem with me, okay? The, right. You know, it's I, I, I was always willing to go. You know, but when I get yeah, there... You know, God, when he, he judges people. When I get to church, you see what um, happens he, is people start manifesting, okay? The, we go to John MacArthur's church mm-hmm. in Los Angeles, and uh, it's in uh, Sun Valley, and, and I don't suggest you go there unless you just want to do it as an experiment. But I went there to John MacArthur's church. Yeah. The first thing that happens to Trish and me, and we're we're you know we're we're just wanting to fellowship because we're just really with the Lord. You know, so we're really strong, and so we just need to you know we want to be with other people that are li- you know of like 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 spirit. You know, and so there we are. And the first thing that happens is they start manifesting the the choir, and a couple guys in the choir start giving us the evil eye. Absolutely another thing that you will encounter if you're gang stalked and you're a believer of any caliber. Believers of any caliber will have this oppressive demonic some other fucking type of shit go on. They try to fellowship, if they try to come together, if they try to Bible study, you're gonna encounter something so horribly creepy demonic, you're not gonna be able to fellowship with other people. If you do, it's going to be far and few between of the times. Go to a church, you can fucking forget it. You're not going to be able to join. You better stay at home and watch fucking uh, Pastor Bob. And I, I, I just can't believe this is happening. And then, you know, the John MacArthur himself, is he can't even stand up anymore. It's like I see two big angels, you know, in, in another dimension, having to hold him up because he's going to collapse like a cheap suit. And we got, you know, the whole thing is a sham. And God, he actually spoke to me. He said, look, you know, this church is like 80%, 87% fallen. And really the only people that are really people that you could talk to are the people that have the Holy Spirit would be these people in these wheelchairs. They had a section in there for the people in wheelchairs. But everybody else is gone. Gone. Mm-hmm. And that you know, and he's yep. got a big program on Christian radio, Grace to You, and you know he he's got a the first Bible that that I got in this you know that someone gave me was a John MacArthur Study Bible, and when you look at his notes, they seem okay except on certain certain scriptures here and there. Like there's one very important scripture, it's Luke seventeen twenty one. There's been a lot of um, he's right. Push to, to, try to, set, right. to try to teach away from what it says. They're trying it says, to make it. Don't look here or there will, for the kingdom, for the kingdom can, is within you. They'll make it. 
Jesus the teacher. And they'll us. force it down our throat. Speaking. The kingdom is within you. And <clears throat> they don't want mm-hmm. that because that would make you feel like you're independent, like you, the kingdom's within me, that, that you might not be part of the collective. So in mm-hmm. the interpretation section, he writes, that means the kingdom is amongst those dwelling. They make it a collective thing around Christ. That those dwelling, in, that the kingdom is in the midst of the, belie- the body of believers who are getting together collectively. The kingdom is, is within that. And that's not what the scripture said. And then I went to Wallace, but he said, well, look up Budge. Went to Budge. Budge is another expositor on the Bible. And I look, look it up. He goes, it's, it's a collective thing. It's among the people, uh, among the, the group. The kingdom is within that group of believers that believes in Jesus. The kingdom is within them, that body. It doesn't say that, damn it. It doesn't say that. It says the kingdom is within you, Rigo. It's within me. It's within you. It's within Trish. It's within you listeners. It's not, you know, in this collective. And we have to have a collective or else we're not in the kingdom. Is what that's the see that's right. the, the evil slant they're trying to make. There is a supernatural element, and you think that you maybe you had died because shit becomes so bizarre. And if you died, maybe the whole world's died. Maybe we've entered in some sort of dead world. It's totally a thing.